Good morning. It's Thursday, September 15th, and it's a gold day. I'm Caroline Leggett. Petrificus totalis. Now they'll be still for our announcements. There you go. Great. I'm Caroline Leggett. And I'm Professor Long. <laughs> Please stand for the pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United, of the United States, States of America, America and, and to, to the republic for which it stands, stands one nation, nation under God, indivisible, indivisible with, with liberty and justice for all. Please sit for the moment of silence. It's homecoming week. Homecoming tickets are on sale now through Thursday at 3.30. They're $7 in advance and $10 at the door. The homecoming dance will be in the cafeteria from 8 to 11. Do your best to participate in this week's activities, including float building and dress-up days. Today's theme is Versus Day. Got a little Ravenclaw and Gryffindor going on. I'm sure there's some other houses represented out there. Uh, Extreme Spirit Day is tomorrow, so have fun. Encourage others to get involved. Jackets got game. The very first CHS 4-H club meeting will take place during fifth period today in room AU61, the science lab across from Ms. Davis' room. All students are welcome to come and see what 4-H has to offer. It's not just about agriculture and showing livestock. There are projects, contests, camps, and clubs for people who draw, dance, play an instrument, love performing arts, public speaking, communications, like to cook, take photographs, enjoy safe shooting sports like BB, shotgun, and archery, enjoy wildlife, love horses, and many other fun things. Nearly all 4-H activities are free to students. If these things interest you, please join us in AU61 at the beginning of fifth period today to find out more. Please see Ms. Smith if you have any questions. Thanks and hope to see you at 2 o'clock. I understand that club takes care of the Griffins, too. That's nice. An annual, the annual Fall Blood Drive, sponsored by HOSA and Blood Assurance, will be September 29th in the Auxiliary Gym at CHS. You must be 16 years old and weigh 110 pounds. Please sign in uh, Ms. Fisher's room, FL17, in the middle school. The life you save may be your own. And fact number one, one in seven people admitted to the hospital will need blood. That makes sense. Wow. Don't forget to register for the PSAT. If you are a 9th or 11th grade student, you can sign up for the PSAT in the counseling office. The cost is $15. It is a great way to practice for the SAT and possibly qualify for scholarships. The deadline to sign up has been extended to Monday, September 19th. Just a reminder that all free and reduced lunch applications must be turned in Friday, September 16th. There's your reminder. <laughs> FCA will meet Friday morning in the chorus room at 7.30. There will be donuts and plenty of other reasons to come. Everyone is welcome to join us. Plenty of reasons to come, mm -hmm. absolutely. Seniors, listen up. 2016 Quest Bridge National College match for high school seniors is now open. The free online application is due September 27th. That's in a couple of weeks, so get it done. Any sophomore, junior, or senior that would like to join the Key Club needs to see Coach Randy Rice in room AU09. Applicants must have an 80-plus average and no di discipline referrals. And speaking of Key, Key Club, Key Club is raffling off two $25 gift, dollar gift cards. Cost for each ticket is $1. Drawing will be held se Friday, September 30th. See any Key Club member or Coach Randy Rice to participate. Benefits go to our community service projects and member scholarship fund. Everyone has had enough time to get a parking pass, so get one. All students should display the parking pass in their rearview mirror and be parked in the assigned spot. Bad things can happen if mm -hmm. you don't. Students in grades 8th through 12th who are interested in attending a U.S. Military Academy are invited to attend a Military Academy Day this Saturday, September 17th from 10 to noon at Sonorville High School. Sign up for HOSA is $30 due mid-September tomorrow. Well, you know, today or tomorrow, one of these days is technically mid-September, so hurry up, get that stuff to Ms. Fisher's room as soon as possible. In sports, the Calhoun High School boys and girls cross-country team were back in action again at Nuchota, New Echota on Wednesday. The Jackets rose to the challenge of defending their home course against North Murray and Murray by winning both team races. Jesse Martinez um, from Murray County and Kaylee Tipton, North Murray's secured overall individual wins in the boys. Jonathan Santana was second overall and led the Jackets to a victory following. Santana was Julio Lopez, um, Espen Garcia, Nestor Hernandez, and Gage Maffetone. 
um, Emily Driscoll returned to the and led the girls with a second place finish. Driscoll was joined in the top five by her teammates Mari Morales and Hannah Sheriff. The Jackets also had Nancy Gonzalez, Win Wendy Rodriguez, Andy Peg Angie Pagaris, and uh, Anna Marie uh, Perez in the top ten. The Jackets will run, ne run next Tuesday at home against Cahula Creek and Spray Prairie before traveling to Columbus, Georgia for the 7th Annual Green Wave Cross Country Invitational. Support these runners as they continue to build mo mo momentum throughout the season. Go Jackets. Go Jackets. Uh, it's that time of year. Powder Puff. Powder Puff's coming soon. Please know that it's a fundraiser for CTSOs. The Powder Puff game will be on Thursday night, September 29th. Cost is $15 to play, 10 to coach, and 5 to cheer. Juniors should plan to participate see Ms. Davis, and seniors should plan to participate see Ms. Hayes. Also, Powder Puff Quidditch will be happening. Look for that announcement coming soon. Mm -hmm. Swim dive team registration packs are available at the Calhoun Aquatic Center. Packets must be returned by the end of the month. Today in history, in 1473, the first ever Quidditch World Cup match was held. Only European teams participated. The final, con the final was contested between Flanders and Transylvania. During the match, all 700 known fouls were committed. Uh, no, 700 fouls were committed, and several new ones subsequently created, including the transfiguration of chase of a chaser into a polecat and the attempted decapitation of the keeper with a broadsword and the release of hundreds of vampire bats from underneath the robes of the Transylvanian captain. Who knew? 1473. And speaking of 1473, birthdays. <laughs> Having a birthday today is... Thursday. Thursday. Uh, Jackson Holland, Alonso Purvis, Mason Woodard. Have a magical birthday. Magical birthday. Have a terrific Thursday. Wingardium Leviosa. Go to class. Go Jackets. Go Jackets. <laughs>